Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to re enable your magnetic clips in Adobe Premiere Pro. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, today's video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you how to re enable sticky clips or self alignment clips in Adobe Premiere. So let's head straight over to the computer and get straight into it. Okay, so this is Adobe Premiere, and this is uh, Premiere Pro 2020, so obviously depending when you're watching this, things may have changed slightly, but uh, I don't think this particular bit will. So the problem we've got, or some people have, is when you get your clip on the timeline and you're trying to uh, make it automatically align, you don't get the black line pop-up, or the kind of the clip snap to, like you saw there. So you see it's just dragging along, and all of a sudden it snaps to. Now, in some instances, you don't want that so if you don't want it to happen like that all you need to do is on the magnet click on there or alternatively you can press the s key now this is what often happens is someone is doing something on their computer to bit of editing and they accidentally press the s key and that takes away the option for snap to timeline or snap in timeline so with it off it's a lot more difficult to actually line up your clip so you have to be very precise with it and of course if you are uh, on a slightly sort of longer timeline, it's it's quite difficult to actually get things to match up. So it's you can just about do it. See, I've just gone over there, so that's no, that's pretty much useless. So what we're gonna need to do is click on the magnet, or like I said, press the S key, and then it will automatically snap. So let's move this one. And there we go. As you see, it just pulls it straight into where the expected lines are. But if you haven't got any uh, cuts in your actual footage, if you put a, an additional one in, so we put a cut there, and now, if, so now if we drag our clip near there, it should snap to, there we go, you just see it jump. So that is essentially it. So it will always jump to parts in the timeline which have got gaps or move, and that is the way you get your snaps to work nice and easily. Generally they work easier that way anyway. But anyway, I'm waffling on. So essentially the S key on your keyboard is the hotkey to enable. So if I press that now, you see it goes on and off. And also you can just click on it if you want to. Whichever way you want to do it is entirely up to you. As with most things Adobe Premiere, there's a million and one ways of doing most things. So uh, just this for me is an easy way of reminding it. So just click on there or press the S key. S for snap. Okay, so there we go, a little bit of waffle there, but you get the general idea. So S is the hotkey to enable or disable the snap in timeline, or you can just click on the magnet icon. If the magnet is blue, it's working. If it's not blue, it ain't working, but then you generally know that because it's not snapping anyway. Anyway, I've waffled on for far too long, and you've probably had enough by now. So if you want to see more tips like this, let me know in the comments section below. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll try and make a quick video to help you out with your Adobe Premiere problems. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.